Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidwind.com and in this video we will show you how to fix the issue of SFH not working in macOS Ventura. If you wish to know the technical know-how as well as the complete information as to why this issue is happening, I have written all this in my guide and the link is given in the description. You can go and have a read. As far as this video is concerned, we will straight away get to the fix. So let's get started. First and foremost, open the Finder window and now you will have to open the SFH directory. For that there are two ways. Either select Macintosh HD from the left hand side and then use the shift command period shortcut keys to bring up the hidden folders. Now go to etc, ssh and you should see the ssh folder. The second way to access the directory is by opening the finder window and then using the shift command G shortcut keys to open go to folder. Then type in etc ssh and hit enter. This will also take you to the ssh directory. Now your first course of action should be to take a backup of the ssh config file. For that right click on it, select copy and then paste it on your desktop. So in case something goes wrong, you could easily revert this file and paste it back in the SSH directory. Anyways, moving on, now double click to open this file and once this file has been opened, you just need to paste these two lines of command at the end of that file. The link has been given in the description, open this guide, copy these two lines of command and then open the original SSH concept file, scroll to the end hit enter twice or once and then paste these two lines of command. Finally hit command s and the file will be saved. And with this the issue should be rectified. So guys this was all from this guide on how you could fix the issue of SFH not working in macOS Ventura. If you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. And as already mentioned before if you have any issues you could always revert back to the original SFH config file by we are storing a backup. So on that note, we round up this guide. Thank you all.